the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, can I start by thanking the other leaders of uh, the parties in the House for their support and give them my assurance that we will uh, keep them up to date with all the information we have as soon as it comes to hand. Mr Speaker, I am fearful that there have been fatalities in Christchurch. Um, I'm not in a position to confirm those absolutely, and it would be irresponsible of me to do so, but I am very fearful that we have lost people in Canterbury. Um, I want uh, Cantabrians and New Zealanders to know that we'll be doing everything we possibly can uh, to help them in their uh, moment of need. Uh, there will be a significant uh, urban search and rescue effort that will be required. Uh, it would be my expectation the Army and others will now be uh, engaged very rapidly in Canterbury. Uh, and as I said earlier, the Cabinet will meet in a moment uh, to look at what all the options are. But it's important that the people of Canterbury know uh, that we'll be there to give them every support that we possibly can. Uh, I'm sure everyone will appreciate it's an extremely fluid situation at the moment. Uh, we don't have the best information available to us, uh, but it is very clear that the earthquake, because of the shallow nature of it and the time that's taken place, has uh, wreaked uh, significant havoc on Canterbury uh, and is likely to have cost lives. Point of order. The Honourable Simon Power. Uh, Mr Speaker, I seek leave for the House to now adjourn as a mark of respect for the people of Christchurch and the Canterbury area. Leave is sought for that course of action. Is there any objection? There is no objection. Uh, the House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow.